Welcome guys into a brand new video. Today we are not gonna talk about Mario Kart 2 but we're gonna talk about Pokemon. The reason I wanted to do a tier list is uh, the reason of I have spent I have spent 119 hours into a uh, which I call Pokemon Madness. So Pokemon Madness is um, pretty much like 50 games different of Pokemon into a single shuffler. Every five seconds of ten minutes, every game was swapped. And why fifty? Well, it just because it's a madness. But into the other side of this, fifty different goals could be Claire Gym, Nuzlocke, No Starters, and vice versa. So my goal was to exactly trying to finish the madness. In in order to finish the madness, I would need to do twenty five clear goals and every time I was done or finished with a goal let's say like gym 2 I could delete this game from my list and I could delete another game where I did not have any progress so I have pretty much all the experience into in terms of Pokemon generals I have played most of those titles so and some people ask me hmm what what do you think is your best generation of Pokemon so that's that's what we're gonna do into this video I'm gonna answer you of what of my personal opinion so this is just my opinion um, of what I think about each generation and each games of course we're gonna like pair up some games together um, let's say like yellow and blue are pretty much the same game so we're gonna try to discuss about the Pokemon in general uh, the graphic the story and couple inside of which I did like and which I don't and I'm gonna uh, uh, tear them into rather the best game of all time it's really good and or otherwise it could be a normal game which is like the average Pokemon it's like nothing like very good but also not very bad um, other category is it's normal but not very good and we have the really really bad games so let's start this uh, here we have uh, Pokemon Green, which is a, a, a Japanese version of Pokemon. We have Yellow, Red, and Blue. So those four games we're gonna judge right now. Um, honestly, I'm gonna right there put that all of them here. And now you will tell me like, why? Why is the reason you put this a really bad game? Well, I don't like Gen 1. Yes, we all have some um, it's like the first game of Pokemon. It was for a lot of you. It was like they just stick with Gen One and never like explore the others. Uh, for for me, I did feel those games are kind of like short. And every time I play Gen One, it's almost the same scenario. Oh my God, the Mountain Moon Cave, so long. And then you go for the bridge and clear a lot of trainers and then you go into the blind cavern if you, even if you can flash this is always the same pattern and I don't really like that stuff about Gen 1 beside that Gen 1 was pretty good and for the sprite they have or the, the design of it for even if that's today it's a pretty good game in general but for me I think those games are really really the bad one uh, and I'm not particularly in love with them. After that, we have uh, something which is also like similar to um, Gen 1 is the uh, Leaf Green and uh, Fire Red. Uh, those two games are like just upgrade version of the um, of the Gen 1, but they included some different island, probably like seven around islands and a little a little battle tower as well. So that was a little nice detail. The game feel a little bit more fun to play, but still, even if they added a couple of extra island, that did not make the cut for me. So I think those two game, I will pair up a little bit above the bad game because it's Gen 1, but it's like a not great to them, but still for me, it's not the greatest. Now we have something very interesting. We have Gen 2. Gen 2 we have Pokemon Silver and Pokemon. Uh, 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 we have no, we have Crystal, Crystal Gold and Silver. 
those three games, I'm in love with this generation. The reason is, the music is great. It's another like another different style of stories, and you have not only eight gyms, but you have sixteen gyms, and you defeat Red at, at, at the end. And this game, I spend a lot more time than Gen One, and I'm in just in in love with this gen. So I don't think this is like one of the best. I mean, those three, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I don't think they're like slightly like the best game of all time. So I'm gonna put Silver and Gold into like the normal games because it's very fun. I uh, love the concept, but it's not like bad as bad. But it's just standard. But for Crystal, I'm gonna put as really good because I did most likely like Crystal than the others. So that would that would game with 10. But now I have something way much better. We have the Hurt Gold Soul Silver. No, yeah, Hurt Gold and Soul Silver. Those two DS games are such amazing game. I even play Soul Silver into the Pokemon Madness. The music is always the good. The Pokemon's following you. Even they have like a battle towers, they have a safari. This game, even that, don't have a gym as well, have 16 gym also. That game is incredible. If you like, I think like a lot of people really, really enjoy this game. And for me, that make the, that make the cut for it. Those games, I think, are the best game of all time. Just because the music is just a banger. Who does not like those games? I mean those two. It's just incredible. After that, we have the Gen 3. We have Ruby and Sapphire, and then we have Emerald. Um, Gen 3 is interesting because the rival fight is a little bit harder uh, in some way if people like to run him upkeep. We have a very difficult uh, encounter before the third gym. <laughs> And then um, this generation, I did have a new Pokemon which I was feeling in love with. It's a Milotic. Milotic is such a beauty water Pokemon. And it's kind of rare as well to get it. But this, this story is like, this generation is like, it's good. But also not greatest as well because there's, I mean... There's, I don't I don't feel there's like nothing going on into the story. Um, I think it's just like a normal uh, type of game. And then, yeah, this is just for Ruby and Sapphire. So I'm going to put the, those two into the normal game. Because they're good. But I mean, at the same time, you have the uh, Zigzagoon pickup ability. You can like get it like very early. So which again, which make the game like so much easier. Um, pick up like any items you want in the game uh, and you don't need to do anything much on that so those games are like I feel they're normal I don't I, I want to put them like very more lower than that but yeah and then we got emeralds uh, the, the slight difference into emerald and the ruby and sapphire is emerald contain a battle tower and, oh my god if you never uh, tried that before, this is something crazy. This battle tower is so much difficult. You can have two type of metal into, I think there are like six different um, places where you can collect your metals. And then there's a silver and gold metal. And I never see something like so much difficult in my life. And let me tell you, like those Pokemon you face off into those battle towers are insanely high good uh, IV training. They are perfect Pokemon, and you try to get the most of the perfect. And into this generation, you don't have much of that. So you hope you, I mean, you hope you have a good luck to trying to win. But it's definitely a tough challenge. But just because this have like an amazing difficult battle tower, I'm gonna put this in really good. Because th that's another like where I have way much fun to play Emerald than I did with Sapphire and Ruby. After that, we have Gen 4. 
Gen 4, uh, they give you with Diamond and Pearl. And those two games was quite fun. The starter was good. The storyline was amazing. Um, but beside that, eh. so I think those two games, I mean, Todd was Todd was pretty pretty nice as a rival, but I mean, those two games did not like. It's just Diamond and Pearl. Like for me, just Diamond and Pearl. There's nothing like Pokedex was fine, graphic was slightly more fun. This is not like the generation where I really like wanted to play the most. So, I think I would just put into like. It's good. It's normal, but it's not very good at the same time. Because I didn't really like it that much. And then for Platinums, I mean, they are just like, I think they have added a couple of extra stuff. But I think I think Platinum is just a normal game. I don't have like much to say about Gen 4 because this is not the generation I, I like I said, I did really enjoy most. Um, after that, we have Black, Black and White and Black and White 2. So those games, so I'm gonna start, let's start with uh, Black and White. Black and White is just crazy. The story of Black and White was, I think oh, that was pretty good. And then there's, I think this is the first time where um, we have some, um, um, I can't wanna say that, like 3D aspect. I mean, no, no. Platina, we have some 3D aspect guy like moving into some platform where we're trying to with your retina. But Black and White have like, raise the bar into this aspect of 3d and those game particularly it's very easy to get xp because Ozino is like into every single route but beside that the pokemon was was decent and then the story was just great and i really enjoyed the pace of how was black and white in general was so I think I will put. Uh, it's really good. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's just it's, it's just really good games in my opinion. And Black and White too. This is where um, Chiren and Bianca. So Bianca become the professor, and Chiren become the first gym leader. They they added a couple extra stuff, but I think this is pretty much black and um, black and white story except like an extra fusion with Kiara Kyogre. So, this is pretty much, it's pretty good as well. This is the same game. Now, we are into something which I really, really like as a title. I think I was trying to find the, oh, uh, where's, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have my favorite generation. It's already the best game of all time. There you go. I said, even that it's like the best game. Come on, I want to put it there. There you go. So X and Y, X and Y, the reason I really enjoy this one is just because one, this is where I was competitive um, and I wanted to grind my Pokemon to be the very best, uh, trying to do online, double battle, single battle. I was trying to shiny on there. I spent more than 1K hours into that game, just, just this game. The storyline was amazing. I love Greninja's. And a lot of those Pokemon, uh, Gudra, they're just, they're, this is just the best. For me, this is one of the best, of the best game. Um, this play, like, like I said, this, this game have hit me hard, man. It's just, just so good. So if you never play X and Y, please do. Or say something in the comment if you do not agree with me at all, but it's fine. But this is incredible game. I'm enjoying it. Um, but yeah, so that's why I put like this is has very high because this game particularly mark a uh, pretty big of my child. After that, we have Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. So Sun and Moon, I did try it. Um, unfortunately for me, the story was was good. I think the story was very good. But the main thing for me, which I really did not like about those game particularly, so they have they added Ultra Beast. Uh, fine, Ultra Beast, whatever. And then they added like no gym leaders, but like rival and uh, you know CD trial. Uh, no, I mean trials over the place to get like, almost like there was a, like a badge and they taught him Pokemon and stuff like that. I didn't really like that. Um, but just because the game, 
it just so beautiful pokemon is okay but i think they just added probably too much uh i think i'm just gonna put them i i think i'm just gonna put them at normal because it's not that terrible compared to the others it's slightly better but at the same time it's i did not like i did not really like that much it's just fine it's just normal so after that um i have placed some uh, pokemon let's go uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pokemon Pikachu or Let's Go Pikachu um, It's pretty cute. So this is like Gen 1 remake um, Very nice graphic the game is slightly very easy um, Also into the same side uh, the same gameplay as if you play Pokemon Go with the phone But into a console where you actually like try to capture those those Pokemon and you don't even do like much battle except if you fight some trainer beside that the game is just capturing Pokemon and that's it so the game is fairly easy but the game has also is very good so I think I'm just gonna put like as a really good game because they the Eevee and the Pikachu have unique move it was interesting easy a lot of people can just play this and having fun so very good game to look at, look for it after that, we have the new um, the new game uh, Brian uh, Brian Di uh, Brian Diamond in the other one, uh, Pearl Di Pearl. In I didn't play that one. I did saw some um, I saw some player uh, some people have played this one. Um, sadly for me, I don't think I will play because since I don't really enjoy this Gen Four. Um, but the game is. Look okay, but the game is pretty much a mess, in my opinion. <laughs> it's pretty buggy. Uh, there's a lot, a ton of it. Maybe they're fixed it or not. I have seen so many like different speedrunners who just like murder the game. And man, this I don't know what to say about this one. So since I don't like Gen Four, I'm gonna put those two those those two game at the same place I put the other two. After that, we um we have the another um. Remix of Gen 3, Sapphire and uh, the um, Omega Ruby, Omega Ruby and Omega Sapphire. That game was great. Uh, competitive wise was great. Remix of Gen 3 was way better. So I don't have much to say about this. They have still the battle towers and other different stuff to it. Um, just because you can make all evolve as well. And those character was very beautiful. I'm gonna put this out pretty good because they're just very good games. I mean, I have nothing else to say about those. And then let's put in into Sword and Shield. Oh man, Sword and Shield? Um, so, I really, really enjoy the storyline, really enjoy the graphic for this. The Pokemon, it's good, but also some of questionable, like a penguin. Um, but also uh, after that they are the only thing I really don't like about this is uh, The the big place where you can find all the Pokemon pretty much um, This is a cool concept or you can do the raids and You can do a lot of stuff with this but the main for me the main stuff about Pokemon is to going into the wilds like the, the little route and capture Pokemon there and grind into this you can also do that but just because it's way, you can have a long, uh, I mean, a lot of variety of Pokemons there. It just kind of like break the game by its own. Because like why you would do, why you would go into a cavern or different place when you can find everything online into at this one place. So it made really busted and a lot of those level was pretty high. So I really enjoy everything and they bring back the gyms later, which I really appreciate on this one. So I think I would say like this is probably like another like good titles for best Pokemon uh, game of all time. And then last of these we have uh, Pokemon Legend Arceus. I didn't, I mean nobody have played this because uh, it's not released yet since uh, this video is, just, uh, is uh, I mean, part of YouTube. Uh, but um, so far I, I did try to not see any kind of like spoilers because if i want to play it or just buy it i don't i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it or not but probably i'm gonna try it and i'll create out this game looked already amazing open world again 
Um, very interesting to see that. And I think that's going to probably be another best game of all time because just the way it's looked, I think it looked like phenomenal. It just looked like it looked very like a very good Pokemon game. So on that, that's all my ranking for the only Pokemon game. Uh, let me know in the comment what you think about this little series I'm trying to do. I'm going to try to do more and more uh, ranking about Mario Kart and probably other Pokemon, depending on if you like it. And let me know, like, do you agree with all my uh, with all my choice? And if you don't, let me know in the comment, like, what you will change or not. On that, see you next time.